editing Micah here. And if you're new, hi, my name is Micah Vidal and I am a musical theater writer and co-working streamer. If you'd like to check out more of me and what I do, you can check out my Twitch, which is where literally I live Monday through Friday. Join my Discord or just watch these vlogs either and or are great and wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. But I did want to jump in here because, well, I did start vlogging kind of the page to stage process of writing my musical over on TikTok. And I have decided to migrate all of that content into here because one, I want to be able to catch up everyone who's just joined on the journey here in AuthorTube and just kind of my side of YouTube in general. And number two, because TikTok as a platform deleted a lot of my files and corrupted a lot of files, which I'm still very upset about. So by migrating it here onto YouTube, I feel like I have a little bit more control. And so I'll be posting these monthly roundup vlogs weekly until I've caught up, which will be from May 2021 to December 2021. I will be coming here and saying hi because I do have some stuff to add in between that I didn't record or that needed some context, but this May one is pretty short. I started writing the musical during vacation because the idea was sprouting. I had just met with John for the first time just to kind of meet each other. And he told me to read Save the Cat and think through some things. So it was pretty marvelous in that way. And I have all that footage now to share with you from the past. So this is Micah from the future, sending it back to TikTok Micah in the past. Yes, I'm on vacation, but uh, your girl's still trying to plot out her musical. I'm Micah. And welcome to episode one of Writing Musical. <laughs> Last episode was episode zero, where I tried to do this. And uh, it is currently 1.31 a.m., so I should be sleeping. But I read the first 16 pages of the book. But I have to say, I had a lot of epiphanies about the songs that I'm gonna write. Or how about this, the characters and then the songs that I've already written and how I'm going to rewrite them. And I'll talk about kind of the premise of the show later, but just right now in the last maybe 30 minutes, I have come up with so many lyrical ideas for musical, so many things I want to write and explore and put to music, so I'll be taking you along with that journey. There's going to be a lot of vlogging on this TikTok. Hi, and welcome to episode two of Writing the Musical. It is currently 4.37 p.m. And I kind of want to catch you up on what I got done today in terms of the musical. I'm not going to work on it every day, but I do have the deadline for three songs due for the um, BMI Musical Theater Workshop to like try and get into it by like mid-August, I think August 21st, so I gotta push myself. So anyway, let me tell you what I did. I just finished the Why Do We Care? Creating a Story Worthy Hero. And here you can see kind of the requirements for BMI, but I did finally map out everything I wrote last night and also answered the questions at the end of the chapter to make sure that, you know, my girl Tracy is like, you know, an actual interesting character. But more importantly, I actually now have some ideas about the songs I want to write, so part two. Hi, and welcome to episode two, part two of writing a musical. So these are the songs that I have decided to focus on. For the requirements, you need a ballad, a comedy song, and an up-tempo song. And one of these I wrote about six years ago, and I'm just going to, you know, make it better, sound nicer, especially the lyrics make them more of the story. But the other two literally came out of, you know, working on this during the stream, which was always super super beneficial so if you want to join me for my productivity sprints follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash but anyway for the ballad we're gonna you know talk about their fantasy with the girl at the coffee shop then for the comedy song i'm gonna rhyme a lot with natalie uh because that's the best friend and here she comes again it's just gonna talk about her order and her feelings so yes indeed it's original characters but it's a coffee shop au baby Hi, and welcome to another home studio vlog where I take you behind the scenes into everything I do as a musician. I started with, of course, feeding Jack some breakfast and giving him his treat, which is actually for his tea. And I made some breakfast for myself. It's a milkshake with strawberries and bananas. 
I was getting ready to record a songwriting experiment for my YouTube channel on Olivia Rodrigo and I tried some clothes on and nothing fit and well, horrible bad body day was here, body dysmorphia was here and I felt horrible but I decided to take a shower to feel better and just put on some clothes that fit that were comfortable and take a minute to center myself using my tarot card deck. For my energy of the day, I ended up pulling Strength Reverse, which just really asked me to center myself, don't let the bad vibes overwhelm me, you can pause it here to read. And then I started my Twitch stream at 1pm, just productivity, creativity, sprints. During that time, I ended up working on my musical vlog earlier on in the feed, and everyone said hi to the vlog, which is always really, really nice. And I ended the day with a hike, and it was majestic. Hi, and welcome back to writing a musical. Yeah. Today's major big revelation for the musical is I finally know the plot twist, I know who the baddie is, and ooh, they're in love! I also finished writing Here She Arrives Again, which was the song that is going to be kind of my up-tempo song. The music's written out, the lyrics are written out, so I have something to present tomorrow. Which is huge because I'm working with my tutor to prepare for this audition, and you know, like, we haven't been together very long, I don't want to disappoint him, even, it's complex. And then lastly, I would attack for Stranger, which is the song I wrote six years ago, and changed the lyrics to really fit the trope of I'm your best friend, uh, pretend that I'm her, and tell me exactly how you feel. What is your fantasy for this woman? And that is what I want from this song. Just pure, unadulterated fluff. I would play you what I have, but no one said I was a good piano player. Hi, and welcome back to writing a musical. Today, I met with my tutor and presented the song that I wrote yesterday, Here She Arrives Again, and I got a lot of notes and I want to share them with you. We meet every Thursday for an hour. He's the one who recommended this. Here's what John looks like. This is a video. He's a very private person, so I obviously didn't want to like vlog during his class, but more than anything, his words mean the absolute world to me. Like this dude has lived, walked, breathed, musical theater has done everything that I want to do. So getting his expertise on what I'm working on and just every aspect of the musical from plot to songwriting style, method, the characterization, it, it's been life-changing but let's jump to the notes so after playing the song he told me yes this is the comedy song which if you've seen my previous video i thought this was going to be my up-tempo song i was wrong i made it funny <laughs> but that what i actually wrote was a recitative and so that means i need to write a whole new song part two hi and welcome to writing the musical part two so now i actually have to write an aa ba style song musical theater pop because at the end of the day, musical theater songs still need hooks, they still need choruses, and my song right now, it has none of them. So my goal in the next week is to figure out the hook, which we are thinking is going to be, I know how she likes it best. Because at this point in the story, Tracy is the barista, and Megan, who is the lady, the regular, who comes in all the time and, you know, revealed the plot twist to me in the song, is leading our girl Tracy to have some moments of discovery. For Tracy and Tail asking the question, why? Why do I make the drink so perfect for Megan and don't do that for any of my other regulars? What is it about her? And what is it about me? Maybe I've been suppressing this whole time all those gay thoughts? Mm. I really have to focus on rhyme, shape, and specificity. While also giving a character-driven song about why she is struggling. 